एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रज्ञा आई एम पीडियाट्रिक ऑप्थेलमोलॉजिस्ट एंड स्क्रीन स्पेशलिस्ट टुडे आई विल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट अ वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली हर्ड टर्म दो लेस अंडरस्टूड लेजी आई मेडिकल टर्म ऑफ व्हिच इज एम्ब्लायोपिया इवन दो वी कॉल इट लेजी आई एक्चुअली द प्रॉब्लम इज नॉट इन द आई द मेन प्रॉब्लम मेन इशू is in the brain and its neurological interconnection with the eye so many time i uh, come across a patient who asks me madam can i get it corrected through lasik surgery unfortunately the answer is no because as i said the problem is not in the eye it's in the brain so any eye surgery is not going to correct it so to understand that what is lazy eye we first we need to understand that we see this world with our brain and not only with eyes eyes are just like a camera they capture images and send those signals to our brain where brain fuses those image to make a three dimensional view that's how we interpret that what we are looking at now if there is any problem in that vision processing center then lazy eye develops now there are different reason of this lazy eye to develop first to start with uncorrected refractive error that means if a child has some glass number and it remains undetected in their early childhood so the child keeps on seeing blur images and brain gets continuously those blur images so after a certain time brain stops interpreting those images developing lazy eye this is called refractive amblyopia the other variant is strabismic amblyopia so in this variety what happens when our eyes are crossed like both the eyes are not straight and parallel to each other that means one eye is turned in or turned out brain starts neglecting that eye developing lazy eye so this is called lazy eye related to screen type then other reason is if there is some congenital issues like congenital cataract corneal haziness then uh, light doesn't go inside our eyes and a uh, brain uh, slowly starts neglecting our eyes developing a deprivation amblyopia so why is it so important to know this condition because one good thing about this condition is if we can detect it early in early childhood it is completely reversible like child can get a really good vision if we can correct it in their early childhood but if we lose that time if it's uh, in their early adulthood or really late then it becomes really difficult to improve it so time matters timely uh, diagnosis and proper treatment is of utmost importance now how we can fix this lazy eye problem there are many treatment protocol to start with first a proper cycloplegic refraction of a child is very much important and most of the time children will not speak up to their parents so that's why we keep on emphasizing that a routine check up for any child at least at 6 months to 12 months of their age then at 3 years then 5 years at least before going for a kindergarten school is very very important because that's how we get to know that child is having any problem or not so if a child has some refractive error we need to correct it with the measure of glasses contact lenses anyhow that is the basic preliminary step the second thing is patching therapy where we close one eye the good eye so that brain uses more and more worse eye for some part of a day we close the good eye then third treatment is penalization the purpose is same we just blur the image of the good eye by using some drop so that the brain uses more and more the worse side or lagging behind eye now we have many recent advances as well like we have some software vision therapy that we give for office based therapy or home based therapy where we stimulate both the eyes together purpose is same to improve the vision the mechanism is different 
but all this treatment should be advised and tailored by an experienced doctor never ever try it at your home by yourself because if you don't do it proper then it can harm it can affect your good eye vision as well so always do come do bring your child for a routine checkup so that we can see whether uh, it is uh, going to help how we can help your child regarding this new binocular vision therapy there are many published studies also that not only children even adults are getting benefited by the uh, this therapy even though the success rate is much better for children because their uh, brain is much more plastic that brain can learn unlearn grow so that plasticity is there but for adults again success rate we can't predict but definitely we can try so it's high time that you do understand the importance of this vision threatening condition and you bring your child for a routine eye checkup as an ophthalmologist we do hope to help all the children with this vision threatening condition lazy eye so that our new generation can have a better and clear vision thank you